for as long as Roblox has existed, horror has been one of the most popular genres of games on Roblox. Today, I'm going to be covering an iceberg chart of over 100 Roblox horror games, going from most popular to most obscure. I do include a few myths in this iceberg that have games attached to them, and I do skip over a few notable games that either aren't interesting or are direct clones of games outside of Roblox. Piggy is a Roblox horror game that was created in January of 2020 by Minitune. The fan-made Piggy fandom wiki describes it as combining the gameplay and aesthetics of Granny with the style of Peppa Pig. And that's basically it. You can either be a survivor and escape the place you're locked in before the timer runs out and without dying to Piggy, or you could play as Piggy and, well, kill the survivors. Alone in a Dark House is a pretty popular horror puzzle game that was created in 2014 and was nominated for a Bloxy Award in 2020 for Best Single Player Game. The game takes place in August 1996, where you are a private investigator sent to investigate a murder of a family. Flee the Facility is a game where you have to, well, flee the facility. Four people are survivors that have to hack computers so that an exit is unlocked, all while running from a killer who is the last of the five people on the server. This is also one of the most popular horror games, with over 2.8 billion visits. Stop It Slender is a game that's been around for quite some time. It's basically a game where everyone has to work together and collect all the eight pages before Slenderman kills everybody. One player is chosen as Slenderman, one player is chosen as a proxy that assists Slenderman, and the rest are citizens. Murder Mystery 2 is literally a murder mystery game. There's one sheriff, one murderer, and a bunch of bystanders. The Mimic is an episodic Roblox horror game by Musidic, with the help of three other people. There are multiple books you can experience, all having different episodes relating to Japanese history and urban legends. They all have different monsters and entities in each. Breakin' is a very popular story game developed by Cracky4. The game is based on the movie The Purge, in which for one night, all crime is temporarily legal, including murder. In this game, some dude named Scary Larry tries to kill you in The Purge, which just so happens to be the day you and 11 other players move into a new house. 3008 is a game developed by Ugly Burger Zero. It's also based off an SCP by the same name. The actual story of the SCP goes is that you enter an infinite Ikea with no exit, and when you try to leave, before the store closes, you can't, and the workers will try to kill you for not being able to do so. That's fun. Camping is the first game in a series of horror story adventure games that are all created by Samson XVI. Camping is just the first game to have been created in the series, being created in September 2018, just six months after the creator joined Roblox, garnering over 200 million visits since. Some other games in the series being Camping 2, Camping 3, Hotel, and Mansion. In the game, players are supposed to survive three nights with whatever events happen at the campsite. If you die, you can either be sent back to the lobby or restart from the beginning, or pay 20 Robux to respawn. A Wolf for Other is a game from the Roblox group Otter Space. The game is simple, you may be chosen to be one of three roles, civilian, hunter, or werewolf. Similar to Murder Mystery 2, hunters have to kill the werewolf before the werewolf kills all the civilians or the time runs out, and the werewolf has to kill both all the civilians and the hunter. The game has garnered over a quarter of a billion visits in just three years. Project Lazarus is a recreation of Call of Duty Zombies made in Roblox that keeps the blocky Roblox are so that's about it. In Bear, you have to complete puzzles and escape the map at a certain time limit and avoid the bear while doing so. Area 51 and Survive and Kill the Killers refers to the large amount of Area 51 themed games that were on Roblox. The most popular of these games being Survive and Kill the Killers in Area 51, which has been in development since 2014 and has garnered over a billion visits since its creation. The earliest Area 51 game in existence is Underground Base by Icy Fresh, which was created in March of 2008. A girl, Jennifer, or Jenna, was a myth character created by Zerofix that was used for a Roblox film named The Odier. The story went that she used to be an online dater on Roblox, and if someone broke up with her, she would hack whoever broke up with her. In January and February of 2022, rumors spread throughout TikTok that Jenna would hack and delete all female Roblox accounts on the 7th of February. Obviously, this didn't happen. The Horror Elevator was a game where you're in an elevator and each floor you stop on will have some sort of monster or creature awaiting you that you have to survive. The game was made by Z Mad Zeus in 2014 and garnered over 60 million visits until... Oh, Dead Silence is what a lot of people claim to be one of the scariest Roblox games. The game was first started in 2011 and has over 50 million visits. In the game, you're supposed to investigate the legend of Mary S. This game can be played with up to four people. Before the Dawn, also known as Survive the Night, is a horror game that was created in January of 2016 by a team of three Roblox developers. It's a hide-and-seek styled Roblox horror game that was once featured on a Roblox Game Spotlight article on the official Roblox blog. At some point around 2018, the game 
branded from before the dawn to survive the night. Survival the Killer refers to the many free model based games that all for some reason start with the phrase, incorrect grammar included, survival the killers. I'm pretty sure the earliest to do this was by the group's Axis of Evil, whose game has over 100 million visits and was created in 2019. <laughs> Identity Fraud is a maze-based survival horror game where you complete puzzles and escape mazes all the while escaping whatever creature is in each maze. You're able to mark pointers in each area by pressing Q, but they will slowly become smaller and harder to see. Once a player dies in the maze, a clone of them will spawn that can attack players. Party.exe by 8DSK is a quote, horror game that is more of just a joke game with spooky elements to it. You're going to a birthday party and there are many different routes to go down. This will determine which of the 11 endings you get. There are two true endings out of the 11, the good and bad endings respectively. The infamous Roblox horror music refers to a certain music script that was used very commonly in Roblox horror games between about 2010 and 2016. The script is made up of a playlist of a bunch of random sounds that the Roblox staff had uploaded to the sites themselves playing at very slow speeds to make these weird eerie atmospheric sound effects. The actual earliest sighting of the script was August of 2000. 2009, the script was created by the user uploader and was uploaded as spook sounds on the 6th of August 2009. The first game it was used in is Uploader's Game Friday the 13th. The Stalker is a combat-based horror game that was created by Clone Trooper 1019 in February of 2010. Nine of the ten people in a lobby will be chosen as combine soldiers who have to survive and kill the Stalker. The tenth person is the Stalker. The Stalker is a mostly transparent and incredibly speedy being who has telekinesis, and its main goal is to, well, kill the soldiers. Possession is a horror game that was created in 2010. While the game stopped receiving updates around 2015, the game supposedly won a Bloxy award in 2013. In the game, one person per round is picked as a ghost and can morph into other players. There's also a karma feature in the game, which is gained by surviving rounds, and karma promises you things like higher ghost chances. Hunting Season is a pretty well-made survival horror game where you're basically stuck in this giant forest and you have to survive the night from these giant creatures that lurk in the forest. You can collect Nightcrawlers, which is the currency in Hunting Season, to buy items to help you survive. Russian Roulette refers to a banned Russian Roulette game that was going around on Roblox for a while in late 2021. It grew rapidly on TikTok for being incredibly gory and detailed, especially for a Roblox game. Ricky Rat is a game where you have to survive Mickey... Uh, Ricky Rat. There are Currently three chapters, but the last one was uploaded on an all account because the developer's main account was terminated, so that's fun. Banana Eats is a piggy and bear inspired survival slash puzzle horror game that was created in November 2020 by Rise Citrus. The game revolves around solving puzzles to reduce the amount of time that you have to be stuck with a killer banana. One player will be chosen to be the banana, and their objective is to kill all the players before the time runs out. The time also increases every time a player is eaten. Melvin is definitely an interesting one on this iceberg. Melvin was originally a satirical meme creepypasta created by Tin Foilbot, a pretty well-known troll, I guess, who used to make story obbies with intentionally bad grammar and MS Paint monsters, which were called orb games. This trend was mildly popular between 2013 and 2015. Anyways, the story goes that a Roblox player named Melvin had passed away from cancer in 2008. Apparently, in his honor, a recolored transparent shaggy was made, but was deleted not long after. That is a terrible way to honor someone's life. Apparently, Melvin was so angry about the Shaggy's removal that he killed a Roblox user every year. In 2021, a TikTok was posted by this person, who I'll just be calling Mar, basically saying that they played the Melvin game and someone was in their home. After this, Mar disappeared and the TikTok gained a lot of traction, and I'm unsure how anyone believes this. <laughs> like, it's already on an all account, and it's about someone disappearing from a joke Roblox myth creepypasta from nine years ago. Ago. The Rake is a pretty popular Roblox game where you have to survive the Rake, that's it. For the classic edition at least, the atmosphere, the map building, and the lighting are all pretty cool, but the monster looks like this. In February though, the game got a sequel which basically improved on all fronts. PM606 is a pretty popular maze slash puzzle horror game on Roblox based on a meme about the winning smile face. You have to beat multiple difficult sub-levels, which are all plastered with this face. It's almost an ARG at this point with multiple games, a group, a YouTube channel that quietly stores codes needed to beat certain sub-levels, along with many other mysterious videos. If you'd like to 
to know more about the strange lore surrounding this game, a YouTuber made a video all about it back in July, and I'll be putting a link to that in the description. The Mirror is a psychological horror experiment of sorts based on an illusion sometimes nicknamed the strange face illusion, which is when someone is staring at their own face in the mirror for too long in a dimly lit room. They might start to see other deformed faces or other hallucinations by doing so for too long. Haunted Mansion was a brick battle fighting map with a spooky theme designed in October of 2006 by Shinletsky for a seasonal limited time Roblox game. This map was very popular because of how much it was copied and pasted and used for many other games. Two prime examples I could think of that use this game were The Stalker and Bear 2. Later in 2007, Shedletsky reposted the game to his own account, where it is still playable today. Horror Hotel is a relatively popular game by Joshman901, where you traverse a hotel where each room has its own set of differences from the last. Throughout the hotel are notes from someone who once stayed at this hotel. There are also a few different versions, such as Part 2, Horror Hotel Obby, and Time Travel Edition. Smile was a video created in 2014 by Reblox Films. Story goes that the creator got a message from someone named Smile just asking to play their game. You spawn in a black box containing a white head with a red smile that would just follow you. Apparently the myth states that it was supposed to crash your computer and that the white head was trying to find the afterlife by capturing souls or something. It could also be referring to Smile with Zalgotex which is a game by Gellachild which doesn't really exactly have a plot to it. There also seem to be some sort of ironic parts to it such as there being a Cotton Eye Joe badge, a Tuna badge, and a Gek tree badge. Okay. Also, a lot of assets see throughout the game are from various horror-related pieces of media, such as the Ahenobarbus Henocide face making an appearance multiple times. Some badge icons are screenshots of Lamando.com, this one is from a Japanese horror game called Death Forest, and this one is just the 1000 Gex cover art. Roses is an adventure-style horror game about going through an old abandoned asylum to find your friend who had gotten lost there during a filming of an entry for a film contest. This is also the most popular pay-to-play game on the list, costing 25 Robux. Rooms is a game by Nico Rocks 5555 the creator of Bloody Battle and two other games that are mentioned lower in the iceberg. In Rooms, you explore this facility with hundreds of rooms, and your goal is to get to the farthest rooms you can without dying to the variety of monsters that are scattered throughout the facility. Error 45229 is an old Roblox creepypasta from 2014 that basically meets every cliche that every other Roblox creepypasta at that time had. The story went that you'd get a message from 45229 asking you to join a game. If you did, your computer would crash. When you booted it back up, you'd be forced into one of 45229's games and your account was renamed to that. Simple creepypasta from the early days that got pretty popular. Built to Survive the Zombies was an incredibly popular Built to Survive game created in 2011 by Danger Tim 11 too. In the game, you would have a certain amount of time to build yourself a fort of some kind using the stamper tool, which no longer fully worked, to survive against the waves of different kinds of zombies that would spawn. The game was massively popular between 2011 and 2014, but faded into obscurity not long afterwards. The game is currently broken, and it's very rare to see anyone playing it anymore. Vault 8166 is a secretive server where basically you can get literally any power you want through hacking. The game was created in 2016, and the first mentions of it on the internet come from November, where someone on the Roblox forums talking about the strange game where hackers can get into users data but their forum posts in their account were allegedly removed shortly after apparently footage was found from the same day where two users are walking down a hall before being killed by some strange figure referred to as a guardian many fan made incident videos have been created since of various things happening in the vault mostly cryptic videos of deaths in the vault place juke is a pretty well known myth user on roblox but the account being created in 2012 the myth is currently inactive though this ties into another Another myth game called Davendrag. Davendrag is Juke's hometown. The place for it was created in 2014 and was updated until 2018. Davendrag is a gloomy, desolate, burnt downtown with broken buildings, uncanny NPCs with strange and distorted faces and more. Strangely, in certain parts of the map, specifically in the playground areas, ultrasound photos can be found. While the story was removed in November 2018 from the game, there was a story about a kid named Carol who had supposedly burnt down the town. Carol was a boy who was bullied for having an incredibly girly name, and had fallen into a deep depression no longer. One day, Carol's father had injured both Carol and his mom and killed the family dog. Carol, who had been so traumatized beyond belief, had decided to kill his classmates and light the town on fire. This is why the city is the way it is. 
Slender Sanatorium refers to a relatively popular recreation created by Daypale of the Slender of the Eight Pages mod from the Slenderman Shadow series called Slenderman Sanatorium. Slenderman Sanatorium's main plot was to escape Slenderman and collect all eight pages inside of a sanatorium without being caught. The game was pretty popular at the time, especially for its atmosphere, although updates have ceased since. The Undead Coming was a formerly popular zombie survival game that was created in August of 2007 by Stealth Pilot. It was mostly popular throughout 2008 to 2011. Many newer players may not remember the original, but instead a copy of it that was uploaded by none other than Jared Valdez 4 named Zombie Outbreak, which was uploaded in late 2012, and in its very short lifespan, it gained over 8 million visits in comparison to the original's 200,000 visits. The original game is also available in Super Nostalgia Zone, which is where some very new players may remember it from. Cool Killer was a survival horror game developed by Clone Trooper 1019, also known as Maximum ADHD, in mid-2011, about a version of the Kool-Aid Man that turned into a serial killer and is now trying to kill everybody. To my knowledge, the original game doesn't even work anymore. It was mostly popular from 2011 to 2013, but to my knowledge, it isn't getting any more updates anytime soon. Since its creation, it's gathered over 700,000 visits. Noli is one of the oldest myths that are still talked about today. A lot of theories around Noli started to pop up in early 2010 due to his glitchy appearance on the website, with his avatar being replaced with an image of a question mark on the website's search function. Clicking on his profile would allegedly bring you back to the Roblox homepage. A game created by Noli named The Tempest started to accelerate these rumors. The game had a pitch black temple with an NPC named ASPX. After standing in it for too long, the temple crumbles. There was also a rumor that being in the game too long would have your account banned, although this is obviously false. Brute Jumble is a horror game development group that creates PS1 styled horror games that are usually pretty comedic in nature, such as Rat House and Raise a Granny. <laughs> That game that I'm not gonna try to pronounce because I can't pronounce anything is a game about the phobia of corn. In the game, you run through a corn maze while being chased by a corn man. Fuck, what is that? The game is also from the same creator as Midnight Horrors. Black Sundays is a myth that despite being relatively well known, has little to no information about it. The account is supposedly related to another myth named Nomoi. It had one game and was banned for an unknown reason only 5 days after the creation of the account. The account was created in February of 2011. The game was supposed to have puzzles to solve, but one of the tools needed to pass the first one is broken now. One of the most popular rumors about Black Sundays is that they would join your game and try and pressure you into not finishing the puzzle in the game. If you proceed, your account would be banned. This is obviously not true, and no sayings of Black Sundays were ever recorded or photographed. RUN, spelt like an acronym, is a pretty old school Roblox horror game that was almost always on the front page from about 2010 to 2012. In it, you basically run from the waves of spears that would try to attack you. The game is actually a modified version of Survive the Spheres by SS1122. The game was deleted in April of 2012, but while it was still on Roblox, it became very popular. Glitch is a game where you have to explore a facility and collect crystals while trying to avoid the glitch. Each player is given a glitch detector and computers near you will start to malfunction if the glitch is near. My Playground refers to a pretty tryhard myth game that was created by someone who may or may not have had access to the 1 billion Roblox account. The myth didn't even go anywhere and was just a free model playground with a black and white color scheme. January 3rd, 2008 refers to a creepypasta about a game called Confusion created by an account simply named W. Essentially, two players named JJJ and Lego had played the game, some creepy stuff happened, when they were about to reach the end of their game, their computers both crashed. Both users' accounts were allegedly hacked and used as puppet accounts to post cryptic and threatening form posts. This is obviously a fake story, and it was even found out that the confusion thumbnail in the screenshot provided is just a version of Rock Raiders by Stealth Pilot, but the name and the user were changed via Inspect Element. Lightbulb is a top-down perspective survival horror game where you have to basically play hide-and-seek with some sort of monster. The original game was created in the spring of 2015 and has over 2.5 million visits, and the popular recreation of the game with cleaner and better scripting and building, Lightbulb Reillumination by Puffo the Pufferfish, has over 2.4 million visits since 2019. The game has two endings you can get, the good ending and the bad ending. For a long while, this was regarded as one of the scariest Roblox horror games out there. FNAKK is 
a FNAF fan game that takes place in the Krusty Krab. The game was created February of 2015 by Mighty Bass Play and was for some reason the first ever game I favorited on my current account. Slender the Eight Pages copies just refers to the many clones of Slender the Eight Pages that exist on Roblox, especially from around 2012 to 2014, when the game was most popular. Hospital Nightmare 3 is the most popular entry from a Roblox horror hobby series that was mostly popular in 2011 to 2013. It starts off with you in a hospital, you go to the bathroom and suddenly everyone is dead and now you have to escape. There's a lot of really cheap jump scares in the game that are so retro and goofy that they're actually funny nowadays, but it was so bad at one point that a few people reported the game just because of how scary in quotes the jump scares were and it was taken down for quite some time. The original was said to have at least a million visits and even more over the many copies of the game. Sigil's game of the same name is a PS1 styled retro horror game akin to puppet combo and brute jumble games where you set up to perform a ritual but you're interrupted. The game isn't fully finished yet and it only has about 75,000 visits. Scary 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 refers to the amount of games of spam words like scary or creepy in the title or description to try and be higher than other games in the search results for that specific word. These start popping up the most around 2018 and are usually poorly made games with loads of free models or games that will teleport you to another game slash scam you or all three fear spelled like an acronym not the group refers to a game by one dev 2 the creator of welcome to the town robloxia that was created in 2010 and was a pretty popular horror game for the time the original game has about a hundred thousand visits and just consists of you going through multiple buildings with spooky jump scares this game ended up being copied like hundreds of times and probably has 20 times more visits throughout all of its clones but it's still a piece of roblox horror game history the curse house as the winning entry for the 2007 Roblox Spooky Building Contest by Game Hero. It won the most horrifying category, and despite how it's aged, it was impressive at the time. It doesn't take itself 100% seriously, and there are secrets hidden all over the map. As of right now, it has over 230,000 visits. Red 44 Saturn 44 is a Roblox survival horror game created in 2014 by PA00, the creator of the game Frame. The story is that you previously worked for a facility named Chimera AI Innovation in the early 80s, making AI-based robots and stuff like that to help others. Employees started to go missing, AI started to go rogue, and the FBI tried to get involved but failed. There are two robots that survived everything and are the most deadly, Red 44 and Saturn 44. This game was an entry for the 2014 game creation challenge named Scara Silly. And you may also recognize the two monsters, Red 44 and Setter 44 from Midnight Horrors, as they make an appearance in that game as well. A Roblox horror game refers to a game from 2014 created by Mazoraz, which starts off as a parody of really old horror game cliches from kids on Roblox who don't know how to develop, but turns into this. with random creepy images taken off of Google Images plastered on walls, and I also forgot this is 2014, so I'm gonna ignore the Mountain Dew and Doritos. It's certainly a game, and it currently has just about a million visits. Face Your Fears was a series of Roblox horror games that were popular from 2009 to 2012. The earliest game in this series, the Haunted Hotel version, was created by Bobulator in September of 2008, and was updated every once in a while up until around 2014. The first game basically could consists of trying to escape a haunted hotel while spooky things happen. While Bobulated did end up making more additions to the series, they weren't as popular. However, other
other horror game developers started to make their own. A related series named Face Your Fear instead of Face Your Fears was created by Haunted USA, Burton 12, and a few other Roblox developers they knew. Face Your Fear 2 The Hospital was the first despite being named Face Your Fears 2. It is another relatively popular horror game from late 2009 that has over 150,000 visits. It was known as one of the scariest from its time. Escape the Haunted Hotel is exactly what it sounds like. It's a Roblox puzzle horror game developed by Chris Super throughout 2010. The objective is to find hidden teleporters scattered throughout the map to escape the Haunted Hotel. Haunted Hotel Roleplay is the third simplistic Haunted Hotel related Roblox horror game in a row, Why Do I Exist, that was created in January of 2011. It's also exactly what it sounds like, it's a horror themed roleplay game where you can explore a haunted hotel with friends, complete quests, and more. Here Where the World is Quiet is an eerie Roblox game from 2007 that was built by Swinburne, who is an alt account of Shedletsky. It was used for the Mysterious Object Contest in August of 2007. Bloody Mary Awakened Trapped is a puzzle based horror game created by Haunted USA in 2009. The game starts off with you trying the Bloody Mary ritual after seeing something about it on TV. You try to do it and you get sucked in the mirror. There's jump scares, puzzles, and parkour sections throughout the game. Not including the large amount of copies of this game, the original game has just under a million visits and is still pretty iconic to older Roblox players. Surrealism, also known as the statue, refers to a game created by Shockman25 in March of 2011. The game has well over 100,000 visits and was one of the earliest myth place type games and one of the scariest games at the time. And considering how old it is, it didn't age as poorly as some of its contemporaries. The game was updated on and off until 2015 and there was quite a bit of stuff to do there now. The entire gameplay was changed in 2015 from the original 2011 version. Grimblocks is a satirical myth created by Tidfoilbot all the way back in June of 2014. According to the creepypasta, one time in each year a user in a full server worth of Roblox players will be teleported to a dark brown and red room with a giant black block with tentacles in the corner, known as Grimblock. Anyone who experienced it would never be online again, and another tentacle will be added to Grimblocks to represent them. Halloween Treasure Hunt and 2009 Halloween Paintball are both Roblox official event games from October of 2009. In the treasure hunt, you wake up stranded in a canyon off the road in your smashed up van and have to make your way out of there. If you beat the treasure hunt game regularly, you will receive a ruby serpent mummy mask accessory. But if you collect the two orbs somewhere in the map, one red and one black, you will be able to use them on a gate to receive the sinister pea hat. In the 2009 Halloween paintball event, which might just have the most ugly graphic design of any Roblox event, is basically just a round based paintball game with Halloween themes. By just being on the winning team at the end of a round, you could receive the orange paintball mask accessory. And if you're the number one highest scoring player at the end of a round, you could receive the Halloween Paintball 2009 trophy. My Dollhouse is a myth experience that was updated from January 2016 to July 2018 by Luhi. The game is a simple looking dollhouse with weirdly tall dolls with backwards joints and a looping piano piece in the background. Throughout the game, there are teleporters to other clones of the dollhouse with things like dolls moved around, and at the end there's this. I have to censor the hanging and bloody dead bodies because it might get me demonetized, but this is at the end of the game. And there is a singular green pad which does nothing. Apple Pie is a game created by Chairman of Chairs in 2021, and the objective is to collect various resources scattered throughout a huge forest map to make an apple pie, all the while being chased. The game is honestly really difficult and I still haven't beaten it as of recording this video. The Haunted Imperial Hotel is a game that was created in 2009 by Bobulator. The game is an incredibly large and now run down abandoned in a haunted hotel that suffered from severe damages on Halloween night of 2009. A quote, mysterious shift in the earth caused large sections of the building to collapse into the earth, swallowing rooms and corridors whole, many with guests still in them. Reports are that some people fell as far as 30 meters into the earth to their deaths. In the game, you can explore the many things this giant hotel has to offer, and this game is still updated to this day, even after almost 13 years. Lando's Haunted Mansion is an exploration game by Lando64000, who you you may know from a pirate's life or their popular hide and seek game. The game is pretty simple, you explore a haunted mansion with puzzles to solve and badges to hunt for. The game was created in 2009 but hasn't been updated since 2014. <laughs> Raw is another game that is tied into the Nimoy and Black Sundays myths. There's little to nothing known about Withered the creator or Raw, as Withered hasn't been online in years. It seems to just be a modified version of one of the old starter places. I'm unsure where or how the game ties into the myth at all. 
Haunted Hospital is an exploration game of a, well, haunted hospital. The game was moved around to a few different IDs on the creator's account, but has around a total of 2 million visits. The game was most popular in 2010 and 2011 and isn't accessible anymore as it was replaced by a different game. Spooky Building Contest 2007 is an old Roblox event that happened in 2007, where people were challenged to make spooky games in the spirit of Halloween. There were 10 categories you could have won in, best Halloween model, best place with less than 200 bricks, best use of zombies, creepiest tree model, cutest place, Halloween capture the flag, most atmospheric graveyard, most clever script, most horrifying place, and scariest monster. Winners of any category would get 6 months of Builders Club, the Eerie Pumpkin Head, and 1000 Robux. There was also a YouTube video contest that tied into the Spooky Building Contest. The winner would receive 12 months of Builders Club, 2000 Robux, and the Eerie Pumpkin Head hat. The Cool Obby Winner Gets Badge is a game created by Pixel Flame in 2021. The game basically pretends to be a poorly made obby created by some kid who doesn't know how to use Roblox Studio in the early 2010s. But at the end, it turns to, uh... Fear, spelled like an acronym 2015 version, refers to a game that 1Dev2 made in 2015 on the account 1Dev3. The game is meant to be a modern and much more refined version of their same Fear game from 2010. This game is also a single player game, while the original version of Fear wasn't. The weird thing is the name given to a strange Roblox oddity that the user Aquajet316 recorded back in December of 2008. While developing a game, they saw a grey thing in the distance which, which disappeared when reloading the level. This this is considered by a lot of people to be the very first Roblox myth, although there are even older myths that go back to early 2007, making this far from the first Roblox myth. Escape the Tension of Friday the 13th is a story-based obby-style horror game series created by Baseball02A, who was a relatively popular horror game developer on Roblox between 2011 and 2013. The games in the series often had incredibly low-quality jump scares, and overall this series just screams 2012 horror games. Forced the Desolation is considered by many to be the very first horror game on Roblox, being created all the way back in August of 2006 on the account Abyss. The game is incredibly simple, just being a black base plate with various builds on it, such as this half-crumbled tower. This game can also be seen in the 2009 Roblox trailer. Other horror music scripts are just referring to various creepy songs that were very commonly used on Roblox back in the day, but aren't anywhere near as iconic as the one you usually think of when you say Roblox horror music. Horror genre was originally named Scary is pretty self-explanatory, all the way back in 2010 and 2011. Before the removal of sorting games on the front page by their genre, the horror game genre was simply referred to as Scary. The genres to choose from were Town and City, Fantasy, Sci-Fi, Ninja, Scary, Pirate, Adventure, Sports, Funny, Wild West, War, Skate Park, and Tutorial. Now we don't have any. Save Red and Green from Scary is a parody of older Roblox horror games from around 2012 to 2014, where you have to save the Hotel Mario Sprite of Mario and a Mario 64 recolor of Luigi from this. It was also created by Nico Rocks 5555 who was the creator of games such as Bloody Battle, The Apple is Ripe, and Rooms. Here is yet another game by the same creator. This game is actually pretty interesting, and I'm unsure if this is all there is to it, but it's much like visiting an old Roblox game from around 2007 that used to be incredibly popular just to find nobody there. Well, I mean, except there is. Bloody Mary 1 and 2 were merged is also pretty self-explanatory. Haunted USA's iconic Bloody Mary game is actually just two games in the series merged to save place slots. It used to be two places, Bloody Mary 1 Awake and Bloody Mary 2 Trapped, now it's just Bloody Mary 1 Awake and Trapped. Roblox Footage Archives is a now deleted ARG about supposed Roblox found footage type videos that start off looking like old Roblox footage but have some sort of dark twist to them. Toasty with two E's has a pretty in-depth video about the Roblox Footage Archives ARG. Apartment was a game created in April of 2013 by 
by universities. The game contains what looks to be a model of an apartment complex with three small apartments in it, with two of them being blocked off. Each apartment has a gramophone, which all say they can play music, however I have no idea what they are since I'm now playing this in May of 2022, after the update where all audio 6 seconds or longer were removed. One of them is inaccessible entirely, and the other one is only accessible through a secret passage in the middle apartment. In the locked apartment are two completely white dead bodies with distorted faces and a pipe with gas coming out of it. Spirit is one of the, if not the, earliest Roblox myths ever created, with its origins starting in May of 2007. I made a whole video about the topic, which I'll link down below, but essentially, the Roblox spirits were a group of people who would go around in popular fighting games at the time like Crossroads and Ultimate Paintball and do things like exploit and say some spooky things in the chat. The spirit account was one of these and had a game called the Torture Chamber on it. The game was just a black box with creepy decals on each side and would rapidly add wipeouts to your profile. The description also claim to steal your account and change your password, which obviously never happened. This game was made to scare off the RSK, also known as the Roblox Spirit Killers, a group of people that would try to fight back against the spirits. It also turned out that the spirit account was owned by Mike, one of the most famous Roblox developers at the time. Origin of the Skull Jump Scare is talking about an old skull jump scare that was used in really old Roblox horror games from around 2011 to 2012, such as Escape Detention on Friday the 13th, number 5. This skull jump scare image comes from a book cover for an old book series named Necroscope by Brian Lumley. The version that was used on Roblox was in black and white and also much lower quality. The cover art was drawn by Bob Eggleton. Empty Sermon was a cryptic Roblox game created in July of 2014. The game is exactly what it sounds like, a dimly lit church building that is completely empty. The description says nothing but preach to the silence and you will see. Bloody Mary 2 Gone was a sequel to the iconic Bloody Mary Trapped in a Wake game that was supposedly on Haunted USA's account for two weeks before being deleted by Roblox for disturbing content. The game was never publicly accessible afterwards and is still lost as of May 2022. Find Your Way Out Before Jason Arrives refers to the first ever attempt at a Roblox horror game from Haunted USA, who especially around the early 2010s was considered one of the most well-respected and talented Roblox horror game developers. This game is just basically the Shedleski Haunted Mansion map with a free model of Jason Voorhees in it, and an invisible teleporter pad that you have to find to escape. The game was created sometime in early 2009 and is currently lost as of right now. All that exists is the old thumbnails for the game, as it's been replaced by another game called Insanity Beyond the Experience. Anopsia is a 2D single player exploration style horror game that was created by Zero Refine. The objective is to escape multiple levels called decks, and the level will light up around you the more sound you make. GUI Scary Maze refers to an incredibly old game by the creator of Haunted Hotel Roleplay and Volcano Escape that was created in 2011. The game is exactly what it sounds like, a clone of the Scary Maze game Flash game that has been on the internet for years at this point, only using Stardew GUI. The game is currently private and only has about 6,000 visits. Also, the jump scare is Justin Bieber because this was 2011. Place 14 is a game that is mentioned in Bobby Later's Horror Game Hub, which contains a good chunk of the horror games he created throughout the years, such as the Face Your Fear series, which was pretty popular around 2010 to 2012. A note next to a hallway can be found that reads, Intended to be a standard haunted house, but I cancelled it due to the place file acting strangely during testing. Currently, I can't open the place file as it freezes when I attempt to do so. However, you can through this direct teleportation service. I have no idea what state the place will be in or what you should expect. Upon trying to teleport to the game though, you're greeted with an error that says it's restricted. Face Your Fear 4 refers to a game in the series by Haunted USA, Burton 12, and Chowder 747, not the Bobulator series, that was worked on between February of 2011 and July of 2012. The game is displayed on the Face Your Fear account and is not publicly playable. According to Google Translate, the Japanese title means Lost Beyond the Silence of Fear, but it's also Google Translate, so take that with a grain of salt. Little to nothing is known about the game, as only 7 people have played it, which were probably developers just testing out the game. 6v6v6's place is a pretty strange place on this list and what seems to be an unfinished ARG of some sort. The game starts you off in a foresty area with a big statue and a hanging man attached to one of the trees. Walking towards it promptly teleports you to another area that is similar to the last with a red sky and a much smaller statue and a pentagram. That's really all I can find from this place. 
Haunted Garlic, Haunted Thomas Fan 099, Haunted Deli, and Puppet Pew Pew are all creepypasta versions of various members of the orb game community on Roblox, which mostly existed from 2013 to 2018. Haunted Garlic was a character made by Ugly Garlic, Haunted Thomas Fan 099 was made by Thomas Fan 099, Haunted Deli was made by Delicious Baked Pie, and Puppet Pew Pew was made by Laser Pew Pew. Especially as of the last six or so years, these people have all moved on from orb games, and some have moved on from Roblox entirely. Potentially 2004-2005 to 2005 horror games refers to the theory that in 2004-2005 during the alpha stages of Roblox or the stealth period of Roblox where sign up was closed during parts of 2005, there could have been horror games created. It's very, very unlikely, but it's not impossible. I don't know how a horror game would have even worked back then, but look at Kanye Picture Simulator 2021 refers to a game that has a picture of Kanye West. The game was created in October of 2020, and the description even reads, you can spit at him if you want.